hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be doing another makeup video but instead of doing my makeup how i always do it or like a makeup tutorial i'm gonna be basing it off of a theme and today's theme is gonna be mia goth in the movie x if you guys have never seen the movie x or pearl you guys should get on that it's really good and i love the makeup that she has in the movie x I'm pretty sure the makeup is supposed to be like 70s or 80s themed. I'm not 100% sure. The movie takes place in 1979, allegedly. So sometime in one of those eras. I'm not sure if this is even going to come out good or if I'm just wasting my time making this video, but you guys are going to come along for the ride. So if I look busted, you guys are my witnesses. But yeah, let's just basically get into it. I have a picture right here on my laptop that I'm going to be basing it off of. So I'll put it up here on the screen so you guys can see what I am talking about. And yeah, it's pretty much just like really simple blue pretty eye with like basically clean skin, just a little bit of blush, I think. And yeah, to get started, I'm going to go in with matte oil control lotion from e.l.f. I always use this to keep my face matte. You've probably seen it in a few of my other videos. Especially because I make videos with cameras, so like I always just look shiny for no freaking reason. Or not with cameras, with lights. And also I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star Cosmetics mirror just because it's very on theme for this horror movie. And yeah, it is. It's a mirror. Or if you guys see me wielding this around, no, you don't be concerned. It's just a mirror. Right now I'm going to go in with my foundation. I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. This one is a very like clean looking foundation like it never looks like you're wearing foundation at all and it doesn't look like she is really either in this so then i'm going to go in with this little puff and i'm going to share it out on my hand before i go in just to give it more of a sheer look this foundation is literally so pretty i use it more for like everyday makeup and it looks like I'm not wearing anything. The only problem is I'm a little tan right now so it kind of makes me look a little pale but we'll work with it, it's okay. Nobody needs to know. I'm gonna skip concealer. Actually, no I'm not. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Let's see which one's more. I'm gonna use this one. I'm using the Juvia's Place concealer in shade 20 and I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow products I'm honestly really scared to do this but her eyebrows are very light so I'm gonna try and mimic that if I look crazy oh well we're in for the ride <gasps> oh my god she just appeared stop it literally looks like my eyebrow is gone I was supposed to go for more of like a blonde eyebrow look, but oh my god. Do I look even more snatched? I do actually. Let me do the other eyebrow. This concealer is actually really good for this, weirdly enough. Like the coverage is so full that it literally covered my eyebrows up because I've tried doing this before and it never works. But with this concealer, she ate. Right, I'm gonna go over it with my little puff to kind of like blend that in. Okay, now I'm gonna be going in with my e.l.f. Um, e.l.f. Matte Shadow Brow and Liner Palette and I'm gonna go in with a super light powder shade just to kind of set that in and give it more of like an eyebrow -y, like a blonde eyebrow look. It looks like her eyebrows are a little more fuller towards the front and like are a little thinner towards the ends. So I'm gonna do that kind of ombre effect. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there because that's about the best we're gonna do. I have very bushy, very full eyebrows. So I'm not gonna try and mess with it too much because then we're just gonna get my whole eyebrow back. Now I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick. I use this for my contour because I don't wanna look too circular. So I wanna be able to make TikToks and videos with this. I'm still gonna do my nose a little. A little down here too, just to look better on camera. I'm gonna blend that all in with this e.l.f. foundation swirl brush. It's 
she has a rounder face than me, so I'm gonna kind of get in there to kind of give the illusion that I have a rounder face. Okay, now that I'm done blending that out, I'm gonna go into this shade from the Blue Blood palette. It's the Untouchable shade, it's this little pink one, and I'm gonna use that as my blush. It looks like she has blush more towards the apples of her cheeks, like over here, and I'm gonna kind of put that there. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the airspun powder and I'm gonna set. We're gonna set the surrounding area. And oh, I just got some white carpet. I'm gonna set it from the outside in. And I'm gonna also go a little over the blush just to give it that more blush from within look. And now I'm gonna start on the eye. I'm gonna use the Blue Blood palette for the eye as well. And we're gonna start with the blue. We're gonna start. I'll do the contour and everything after in case I do have to like get rid of any fallout. I'm gonna use shade Blue Blood. And it looks like she has it just on the, just on here. Just on the lid and nowhere near her crease. We're gonna dip in with a little bit of the shade Diseased. It's a darker glittery blue. And I'm gonna try and pat that lightly on there to give it a little bit of shimmer because her eyes do look a little shimmery. And just to give it more dimension. There we are, there is the eye. I think I, I think it looked pretty cute. I think it ate. Now I'm gonna go and one last time with a blank brush and go in with the shade Untouchable. And I'm going to try and clean it up a little around here. Just to give it more of like a worn in kind of look. Like I've been running around with this makeup holder. Okay, pretty. Now I'm going to go in with my contour palette from the Totally Plastic Iggy Azalea Collection. And I am going to be using this to bronze up my face. It looks like her nose has some pretty good contour. Let me start with that. Her nose seems a little bit contoured. And now I'm gonna do my cheekbones. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with mascara. I'm gonna be using this Physician's Formula. I don't know the name of this mascara, but it's pretty and I like it and it always gives me a fluffy lash. These aren't like too lengthening, this mascara, and it's more of like a fluffing mascara. So I feel like this would work really well to give more of a natural look. <gasps> I just stabbed my eye. Sorry. And now we're gonna be going in for the lip. This lip gloss, lip stain from Victoria's Secret because it's very, like, it's a very simple color and it doesn't look like she has anything on her lips. It just looks like her lips are really pink. Okay. And then grab that around, not to overdo it. Now I'm gonna be going in with the Jeffree Star X Morphe palette and I'm gonna be using shade Back. And I'm gonna put that as my blush once again, just to brighten up the blush. Let's see. Yeah, that ate. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty, pretty blush. If you guys want a good hack and you don't want to buy like blushes, because blushes can be expensive, buy a pink eyeshadow palette. A pink eyeshadow palette with a bunch of different types of pinks that you would like to use for blush and Eyeshadow literally works the same as blush. I am gonna try to do the freckles and I'm gonna use this little straight brush that I found. And I'm gonna be dipping into my e.l.f. matte liner in brow, e.l.f. Uh, matte light, e.l.f. matte liner brow, e.l.f. matte liner brow shadow palette, whatever the heck. You know what? I'm tired of these makeup names. It's giving me you know what, maybe I'm the problem, and I don't care. I'm gonna stick over this with a beauty blender. 
So now I'm gonna switch into a denim outfit because in like the whole trilogy she's wearing at least one denim outfit and I love them and I want to wear it because it's giving very much Mia Goth. So yeah, we're gonna switch to a denim outfit, BRB. Okay, you guys, so here is the final result. I added some more freckles. Oh wait, I added some more freckles. Let me blend them in a little because they look a little crazy. But I added some more freckles. I added a couple on my body. Don't look too closely. They don't look that good. But here is the final result. I think it came out really well, actually. I really like it. I don't have the suspenders, unfortunately, that she wore. But I put on this skirt as a little top. And I feel like I still, like, it resembles her, you know? Like, it, you can tell the character. But yeah, here is a side-by-side -side of the makeup. But yeah, I honestly really like how it came out, and I think it's really pretty. I'm probably gonna go make some TikToks now with this makeup, so... As always, comment down below what you guys think. Comment down below some more movie characters that you might want me to do the makeup like. And yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video.